What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a new add-on for quickly adding particles and dust and other things like that to your scenes. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Dust Particles Plus is a new add-on from the guys over at Creative Shrimp. You might be familiar with them from uh, their different YouTube channels. So there's the official Creative Shrimp YouTube channel, which has a bunch of great tutorials on it, as well as the individual channels from Gleb and 80. Um, and you can check out both of those on YouTube as well. If you haven't checked out their tutorials, you really should. They've got some amazing stuff going on right now with lighting, and they've just done a whole bunch of really great stuff. So definitely worth checking out. But in particular, in this video, I wanted to check out their new add-on which is Dust Particles Plus. And so basically this is a tool that uses geometry nodes to quickly add dust, embers, or moths to your scene. So there's two different versions of this. I mean, I guess three if you want a multi-seat license, but um, we'll focus on the two. So there's a free light version, which basically comes with the basic functionality of the tool. And then there's the $10 tool, which is gonna come with some extra sprites and features and things like that. There's a table down below where you can check all of this out. You can see that the free version is actually pretty full featured um, if you just wanna bring that in and get started with that. Um, but either way, I will link to this in the notes down below. And so let's jump over into Blender and see how this is going to work. Okay, so first things first, this is a geometry node setup. And what that means is that means that you don't need to actually use um, a Python file or install an add-on. You basically just need to copy paste this into Blender. And so when you first open it up, you can just select it like this and then do a control C and then go over into this other Blender file and do a control V. And basically what that does is that copy pastes the particle file into your new blend file. Um, kind of a side note, I didn't realize you could just do a control C and then a control V in a different file like that. So um, that's definitely useful to know in the future. Okay, and so once you bring these particles in, one of the things that you're gonna notice is, first off, you can select these in here, but one of the things you're gonna notice is these particles are made up of these 2D sprites, right? Or these 2D images. And so what's cool about that is if you click play, notice how those come in as animated and ready to go. Um, but you do need to do one thing to make sure that they're oriented properly, right? So if I turn to the side right here and then look at this, notice what's happening is they're moving around, but they're facing in this direction. Well, inside of the geometry node setup, which you can click on right here, you can select the camera that you want these to point towards, right? So I've added a camera over here. So when I add that camera by using a little eyedropper and just clicking on it up here or in my scene, notice how those change directions so that they're facing at the camera like this. All right, so now if we jump into this and take a look at it, notice what you can do is you can come in here and you can adjust things like number of particles that are in your scene, as well as the random seed that's in here and the maximum and minimum size of these particles, right? So you can use this in order to quickly adjust your particle system in here in order to um, generate this dust or um, these kind of floating particles in your scene. And notice how when I kind of click off of this, you can see this a little bit better, but these are kind of moving around like dust would in a scene. And we'll take a look at some of the other things you can do with this in a second, but you can also come in here and adjust things like the emission strength, right? So notice how as I bring this up, right? If I bring that up to a 10 or something like that, these are gonna emit more light. You can also adjust things like the color of the dust that's generated in here as well. So you can add kind of a glow as well as this movement in here to your scene. And the movement down below um, is also adjustable, right? So you can set how quickly or slowly this moves around, right? So if you want kind of a slower scene, like this is floating around, the air is kind of dead or something like that, um, you can do that using the speed setting down here. And one thing I do want to point out because my lighting um, skills are nowhere near the lighting skills that these guys have. They do also have a cinematic lighting course over in Blender. Um, and so they, they teach you how to actually use lighting and create really great lighting inside of Blender. Um, you can check that out on the Blender market as well. If you are interested in kind of taking your lighting to the next level, which I clearly have not yet, but it's something that I really need to focus on, um, then they will teach you how to do that as well. Note that is a separate product, obviously, from this add-on. Um, this add-on would probably highlight those skills a little bit better, but if you'd want to learn more about lighting, um, you can do that inside of their cinematic lighting and blender course. And so note that you can also adjust the shimmer 
of these as well. So if I bring that strength up like this, notice how they're going to, um, they're basically going to adjust brightness in the scene so that they're not just like uniform. So if I adjust that in here and you can adjust that shimmer speed as well, but they're going to kind of like brighten up and then dim a little bit in your scene as well. And so if you do get the pro version, which is $10, this is going to come with the ability to do animated sprites, um, animated presets or advanced presets, as well as mods, looping support and extra project files. And one of the extra project files that comes along with this is this awesome lamp, which really kind of gives you um, a feel for what you can do with these particles, right? So it's got these moths flying around the lamp and um, it really kind of adds some realism to the scene. So if you are looking for that, um, you could just then take that and then you could just select the moths and just copy paste them into a scene as well. So, I mean, this is definitely one of the tools you ought to at least download the free version and give it a try if nothing else. Um, it's a really easy way to kind of add some extra details to your scene. And if you're looking for those extra features, you can check out the pro version as well. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.